feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double next time. Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozip Power 21, Jerry Walls Live, worldwide. That's right, you tell him, little buddy. You tell him, you're listening late night, late night with Jerry Walls Live, worldwide, and the beautiful Kelly Holland out of Chum City. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a great, great Thursday evening. Everybody chilling back, listening to the podcast, or you watching a little bit of NFL football on Primetime, Amazon Prime, yeah, and that's something, football's on streaming platform. All right. All right, y'all, we got a great guest for you tonight. His name is Michael Chen. He's a filmmaker, producer, director of Christian Films. That's awesome, y'all. I remember when I first discovered Pure Flix, you see all those Christian projects out there for you to share with your family. That's right. For those of you trying to keep your, keep your kids away from the secular world. <laughs> that's right. You can, instead of, instead of uh, signing up for Netflix, you can sign up for Pure Flix. All right. I see a lot of you didn't know about that. Check that out. Pure Flix. Nothing but this Christian film. And we'll find out Mike got his stuff, his stuff out there in a minute. But meanwhile, let's talk to Kelly Holland. His interviewers, see what she's going on. What's up, Kelly Holland from Baltimore? What is up? What's going on, Kelly? Hey, 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 Batman. Hey, Baltimore. How is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing well in B more. And, and, man, of course, our prayers go out for the families that's dealing with uh, power outages and a storm that's brewing in Florida right now. I actually checked on one of our clients and she said she's doing well. A couple of people okay. just said um, they just got, you know, winds and everything, just rain. But uh, even my guy watching on YouTube said he's doing fine. Uh, he actually Glad to hear. Yeah. So uh, hang in there. Of course, you know, it's probably going to send nothing but rain and and winds our way and cold. Apparently, that's all we get. It's, yeah. it's quite chilly out. Um, what an adjustment. Guess who got the COVID shot, Batman? You went and got it. Yeah. Not, not Kelly Holland. I got it. And it wasn't that bad. You're probably healing. You're probably healing from my, other ailments. My <laughs> arm is falling off as we speak. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> yeah, right. You're going to be feeling strong. <laughs> Did you do a lap around the, around the block yet? Because I was out there running. Me and Mimi. We was running up and down the street. <laughs> no, I haven't had my Hulkamania moment yet. Yeah. Anything about it. No, I haven't. No, you didn't get the, maybe hit you tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I know my arm hurts. Yeah, it's going, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, once the once the pain go away, that's when you feel super strong, invincible. We'll see about all that. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be teaching you're gonna be teaching other people's kids tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got yeah, it. I, I got it. All out in the middle. Third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Bring them all in. Bring them all in. <laughs> Open yeah. your devices. And, whoa, I'm <laughs> you need your car wash. <laughs> you want me to fix lunch? I got breakfast. Yeah, you gonna be doing it all tomorrow. Watch. You gonna be feeling. You were like, wow. Give me another one. How close can we get these shots? <laughs> yeah, man. Well, apparently, I need two before well, I'm fully vaccinated. Yeah, they only last for four to six months. Anyway, it's out your system completely. That's what I was trying to tell you. They don't need to stay in your body that long. It's gone. I'm, you a, I, I I'm still expert. don't trust this whole process. I don't. I don't. Well, I'm going to tell you. I told the pharmacist. I said, I'm going to become a zombie. <laughs> but, don't you take, but don't you take Tylenol and stuff like that? So what does that got to do with being a zombie? Do you, do you, medicine, they just do you know what Tylenol all is? Do you, do you read all the stuff that's in Tylenol? <laughs> no, what's in it? Well, most of it's from the earth. You know, so that's why. I t- okay, if you ever, good. if you ever bite into a Tylenol, it tastes like stone, like rocks, <laughs> like minerals. We got the, the pure minerals up in our body. Yeah, bodies, it helps. It headache. helps. Right, it's like a magnet. It helps. Uh, you know. There's, that's something with the circulation with the blood, you know. It's all about the bloodstream. That's really what it's the all about. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm in the process of trying to uh, heal my blood. Apparently, I'm... Uh-oh. Kelly dropped. <laughs> 
Uh-oh, she was in the middle of saying something. Well, Kelly, you're going to have to dial back in for some reason. Your line got snapped. Well, anyway, she'll be back in a minute, y'all. All right, she'll dial back in. All right, we hope everybody is hanging tight. We got a great guest tonight. For those of you who want to know, um, you know, where his films are, he's going to talk all about it. What, 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 um, what made him decide to do Christian films, you know? That's the big question. Why are Christian films? And of course, a lot of times, you know, it's a lot of stories out there for one, y'all. People live in miracles every day. You know, they don't talk about it, but you hear the testimonies. Why can't there be a movie? You know, that was always my question, Kelly Holland. Why can't a testimony a be a movie? You know, you have anything else become a movie. <laughs> So, so, so Mike going to tell us why he decided to become a filmmaker in the Christian world. But before he come out, Batman, I got to say one more thing. Mm-hmm. Since I got of age and I am a member of the ARP, I was invited to an exclusive conference call with the members, the prime members of AARP. Oh, A-A-R-P. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a, yeah. yeah, I ran them kind of close together. Yeah, like the A's, <laughs> like the double A's. <laughs> Double NACP, whatever. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Batman had to cut the grass today. I had to cut the grass, and I had to host a show with the coach today. It was a 45-minute show. I bet you got that grass cut in 10 minutes. Man. <laughs> the whole thing is looking I didn't do the front. I just did I just did the right side of the house in the back. I didn't I didn't do all. I'll do the rest of it tomorrow. It was getting cold. I was sweating. Yeah, it was getting cold. Yeah, you don't want to sweat yeah. and get cold at the same time. But anyway, <laughs> I am a member. Well, anyway, back to this conversation. Because you, you know, you brought up uh, that you got the shot. Well, yeah, no, the the, no. the word is out that northern yeah. that there's a surge in northern Europe. Uh, so you know what that means. <laughs> oh, it's coming back. Yeah, we two weeks out. <laughs> With the PPP, we get the PPP. The doc, the doctor said we two weeks out because you know they oh, watching it really closely and and then the, and, but guess what? Too is two other things that's going on. This kind of well, there's three breakthroughs in medicine right now. Tell me all about one it. of the breakthroughs. And listen, Mike, you might want to make a movie about it. There's two types of COVID nineteen shots. Is and they combos. One is combo with the flu vaccine and the other one's combo with the old COVID and the new COVID which is the Omicron the Omicron yeah so yeah I got that Moderna up in me I don't I don't think that's the best one I, which one you think the best one Pfizer I want I want that Pfizer I want that German yeah. stuff and with that Pfizer yeah, yeah man that's right <laughs> it's all the same because I think I think somebody stole somebody's patent anyway so they probably the same now <laughs> Did you hear about Apparently that? So. Yeah. No, I didn't, but yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I found out about that. Uh, Johnson Johnson. They like they just have too many products. Yeah, I had that one first. That was that was the first uh, one. You only need that one shot. Yeah. But also, the other breakthrough is that if you've been boosted and you do get sick, they have a little pill that will keep you out the hospital. You just gotta call your doctor. And you won't get that sick. Yeah, you won't get that sick. Yeah. Because people, but, but guess what, though? According to this doctor, he said there's 500 people were dying a, a month in America. I didn't know that. That's just making up stuff, like Fauci. No, this is from the, no, this is from the real doctor. No, it wasn't a made-up doctor. It was a real medical yeah. doctor. He's like a, he's like a, uh, <laughs> what they call him, an epidermidologist or something. He wasn't, um, yeah, so he knows all about the diseases of the world and stuff, you know, he's specializing at all. But I, I believe him because we had, there was a lot of our members that was on the line that was in their 90s. And one woman had the booster shot. She was 98. Her son came home with COVID. He was 76. Now he's living with long haul COVID. She said he, he, he can't sleep at night. He can't breathe, lose. He think he can't breathe. Something's happening. He's he's living with anxiety now because he has uh, breathing issues right now. So he's afraid to go to sleep because he's afraid he may not wake up. Anxiety oh, is so high. Weird. I know that is that's so jacked so up. I know. So, so, but this is happening to a lot of Americans right now. The long haul. Yep. Because she, the, but see, she said that he never got the COVID shot. So, so he's living with long COVID now. 
So yeah, I'm seeing people out making ads now, like you're out here with your faulted immune system trying to get us infected because you're not vaccinated. I know. And I'm just like, shut up. I know. Right? All kinds of <laughs> stuff. Apparently, out there. COVID is gone. I don't even know why I need to still need the day going. Well, shot the president said that the, the, the president said we don't have, we're not in a pandemic no more. <laughs> right. But these certain facility. I think he was dreaming. Won't give you the top dollar <laughs> unless you uh go ahead and agree uh, to get that dag on shot. Well you getting paid now. So now you're getting paid. Go yeah. on give me you gonna, forget, shot. you gonna forget all about the shot. I think I'm on my fifth one. I don't even remember the last yeah, time I had it. Might have been May. I finally got the COVID card. Yeah I That's right. Don't it feel good to have that card though? No. Yeah, get on a plane, flash your car. Hey, yo, what's Don't up? Don't nobody care about that car on the plane. I ain't man, needed that, all this That time. card is like money, man. It gets you into good paying jobs. It gets you into parties and and uh, concerts and stuff, man. It gets, yeah. you, it gets you places. <laughs> right. I don't need to be in the zombie crew. I'm, now I'm trying to take No, you got out of the right? zombie crew. You got out the zombie crew. Because now you got people who never got vaccinated. They still at the hospital. They've been there for 15 days. <laughs> Look, me and my family was fine. And you know it. And you yeah. know we was out well, here you know in the you're... street. Yeah. And you said Kelly probably had COVID three, four times. Well, now we can have lunch, hey. Kelly. So now we can have lunch together now. Oh, is that what it was? Man? Yeah, because I was gonna hit you on the personal side, like yeah. you forget about. This. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. I needed to get vaccinated. My my club member said, "Don't take the chance." Oh my god! There may be a small wind, maybe outside. You could have you could have zoomed me. You could we could have did a duo. But we good now. We good now. I'll see you this weekend. All right, you ready to talk okay. to your guests? You ready to take the Michael Chen? You ready? He's new film, The Wages of Sin. Oh, that's gonna be a deep talk between you guys. Well, here he is. What's up, Michael Chen? Welcome to Late Night yeah, with Jerry Was Not Brooke Biden and Kelly Holland. How you doing, brother? All is well. Can't complain about yourself. Good man, we good man. All is well. But look, I'm going. I'm gonna be on the sideline engineering. You guys need me? Just holler. Y'all have a great show. Welcome to Thanks late so night. Much, man. Amen. All right. And thank you for joining us again, Mr. Chen. I'm so glad and excited to have you with us this evening. Please let our listeners know who you are and what it is that you do, sir. Oh yes, I am Michael Cleo Chen. I'm an urban faith based filmmaker. So I make Amen. films. They're not cheesy church films. They're <laughs> raw, real films. They're dramatic, you know, enough for not only the church world, but the secular world to enjoy. Um, mm-hmm. While everyone gets the universal message of love and light at the end of that dramatic tunnel. Amen. Amen. Um, what, what type of movies have you made? What have you put out? What's available? So I have a film on Tubi right now. It's free to stream. It's called The Wages of Sin. Um, and I can get, again, that's available on Tubi for free. Uh, and it's a respected pastor betrays his family, congregation, and community when temptation leads him to commit an unthinkable sin that lands him in prison. So that's available on Tubi right now for free. You don't even need an account to stream it. Yeah, so that's the wages of sin on Tubi. All right. Kelly, you still there? Kelly phone must be freezing up. All right. Well, we wait till she reconnects. All right, Mike. Hold on. Let me put my headphones on, man. So, bro, before she get here, she probably going to ask you the same question. So what possessed you to um, to produce this film? <laughs> the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, man. That's yeah, good... I, I thought of the title, The Wages of Sin, and then that's when the story hit me. Wow, wow. Wow. And, you know, it was funny. It was uh, just recently, you know, it was, you know, about the time we had booked you for this show, uh, we saw a movie with, uh, I think it was Regina Hall starred in it and the guy from um, uh, something about, what was that movie, that show, he come, that show he has, I forgot his name. But anyway, it was basically, I guess, I think the story was based on the life of Eddie Long, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm out of, out of Georgia. Yeah, so you. So I'm, I'm thinking now this is probably going to be um, the beginning of a, a long list of um, of films coming out because, of course, you know it all started with Greenleaf. Um, they sharing, you know, the life in the church and and, and and the bishops and apostles. So I'm thinking this is going to be the beginning. And uh, so, how you feel, you know, being you know on that short list right now? Oh, I mean, God is good. You know, I'm just 
taking it one day at a time and really listening to the instruction that he gives me. Right, right. And, of course, I don't know Kelly going to get into distribution and stuff, but um, so how did you get picked up by Tubi? You know, how did that work? Oh, yeah, through a distribution company, and they were able to place it there. Um, and so, you know, I was reaching out, networking with people, and uh, I was finally able to get it placed. Wow, wow. Good for you, good for you. But I don't know if you know, man, but I'm actually um, a producer myself, man. I've, I've produced uh, a couple, nice. uh, uh, about, well, actively now I'm producing television shows, about eight, nine television shows. And um, I had a short film came out, but I didn't really put it nowhere. Just, you know, just on, you know, your typical streaming platforms. Uh, and, oh, oh Kelly, she, she couldn't get in until she was locked. Mm. She probably didn't realize she was locked out. All right. Okay. So anyway, so right now um, I've been enjoying uh, producing a children animation uh, show, uh, TV show that, that this this uh, streaming on um, on a um, couple platforms and as well as cable and TV. So it's exciting, man, to yeah. see your projects. You know, you you dreamed it. You know, the, God gave it to you, and next thing you know, you're looking at it. You know, on the silver screen or the mm-hmm. or the wide screen, and uh, that's a good feeling, man. So how do you know? How does it feel, man, to to, to have your first film out there? In a, you know, in a major distribution like that. Yeah, no, that it feels good. Like I said, God is good. Um, that's all I that I can credit them because I can't take credit for it. I just listen to him, and he tells me what to do. He gives me supernatural wisdom, and strategy, and things like that, and so I just follow it. Amen, amen. All right, there she go. Kelly is back. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, I'm sitting here thinking we done dropped Michael. I'm I'm over here ab libbing, giving praise to God. I done told the whole story. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to yourself. <laughs> hello. <laughs> when well, you don't know you the problem. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. God is great. Amen. <laughs> and so, Michael, thank you again for sharing your story. Um, how did you even end up in this position where you said, I need to sh- reach out to God's people in this method of film? How how able, how able how did that come to happen? Yeah. Um, so I started off acting. Um, I've always been, you know, interested in acting ever since I was little. And then um, I had about the age of 15, and so I was really analyzing movies and TV shows. And I said, oh, that's interesting, but I wish they would have done this, or I wish the show would have been done like this. Mm-hmm. So I just decided to go ahead and obviously make my own. And then after that, um, I just decided it's better to do this for Christ because, you know, everyone is kind of doing the same thing in the secular lane. And so I was like, you know, he really gave me the sauce and, and able to um, – tell these raw stories that are not cheesy but for him you know mm-hmm. and still bring him glory and so that's that's where i that's where i've been at ever since i decided to take that call that was my call of action mm. so do you do like the script writing the whole shit mm-hmm. yep i write i write it direct it produce it and i even act in my own in my own stuff Okay, that's four checks. I hear it. I'm oh sorry, I'm <laughs> counting your money. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you got into the position to have the understanding, um, you know, as you analyze the movies and you want to make these changes and you finally get the opportunity to do so, um, what type of what type of message did God send you or if a message at all? prior to you getting started, like, when was the direction given? Oh, man. Um, the, 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 when I started to really be serious about my relationship with Christ, mm-hmm. the scripture says that he will give you the desires of your heart. That means he's going to give you the desires that he wants you to have, yes. <laughs> you know? And so his desires become your desires. And so, and when when I decided to abide in the Lord, that's when, you know, all the desires of just doing this for him just flooded my heart. And so I just acted on that. Amen. So the business side of things, like, did you know all of that too? Did you go to school? Like, how did you no. pull it all together? Oh, oh, God. I mean, I'm literally, that's literally all I can say because 
Um, I did do one semester in film school and then I dropped out because I'm saying, well, this is, I can learn this on YouTube and things like that. They weren't teaching me nothing that I couldn't learn. Okay. So, um, networking. And so I said, you know, I'm going to network my own. I network, 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 network. Um, and just reaching out. I mean, you literally reach out to a hundred people. You're going to get one. Yes. <laughs> you know, Amen. At least one yes. Amen. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And so that was my thing. I was like, all right, I'm motivated to just reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. And uh, we're going to make this thing happen, you know. And so the Lord opened up that avenue. So I just, I, I didn't even know that I was going to have distribution for my first film. I just made it. What the Lord told me to do. I used all my, I used, man, the stimulus check came out. I used all those, every cent of that stimulus check to make mm-hmm. my first film. And then it turns out now it's on Tubi. It's on a major streaming platform. And so, um, yeah, you know, just, just listening to him, not even knowing. Uh, that where where stuff will end up, or I still don't know where you know where this road is taking me, but I just know that as long as I'm in the Lord's hands, you know what I'm saying, I really can't go wrong, and so that's what Amen. my confidence lies in. Yeah. Amen. I couldn't say it any better. And, you know, I was trying to share this story while I thought I was talking to you. But <laughs> so, um, it's what a blessing it is when God shares your future to you. You know, rarely are we previewed to what's to come. You know, we're, we're trying to rely on trust and faith um, without doubt creeping in at all. And that's crazy faith right there. Um, and as we're doing so, um, you know, we, we, we're we we're usually just based on the trust system. But when God takes the time to give, give you a peek into your future, oh, what a mm. delight that is and how mm. motivating and encouraging it is. And then when you mm. see that the, the wherewithal uh, comes to fruition, it's like, well, Lord, I didn't have the resources, the power or anything. And look, things are working in motion, you know. Exactly. You know, exactly. Um, so so it, it, it just sounds like the same thing that I've recently experienced. And so if God gave you movies, oh, Jesus, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's to come, you know. So um, that's, that's a little praise report I wanted to share, piggybacking off of your story. Um, but it says here that at such a young age that you're married, um, you're working on your mm-hmm. second film, and mm-hmm. you know your wife is one of your biggest supporters in this mm-hmm. endeavor. How encouraging mm-hmm. is that? Very, very, very encouraging. Oh man! Like I said, you know, God gave me the desires when I decided to take um, Him seriously and abide in Him, and so one of those desires not only being to make faith-based films, but to also get married at a young age before I even knew or met my wife. You know, I just had a desire. I knew I was going to get married at a young age. So when I met her, the Lord confirmed everything, and um, we got married, you know, and uh, yeah, we're doing the kingdom together. How, long, together. Was, how long was the process? The, y'all didn't process just meet all. and then get <laughs> married, or, or is that exactly what happened? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, we, we met at church. <laughs> Then after that, oh. we dated for we dated for a year, and and some change, and then we got engaged. We were engaged for a year, and then we got married, and we've been married for over a year now. Amen. Welcome to the club. <laughs> May the good Lord bless you and keep you and prosper your marriage. And what a wonderful thing it is to have a partner that helps. You know. Um, mm-hmm. This type of yeah, support exactly. is something that we don't always hear about, and so I'm grateful. Right. <laughs> yeah, a- absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, yeah, I'm grateful too. <laughs> Amen to that. So, what type of ambitions do you have going forward? Say that again. What type of ambitions do you have going forward? Do you plan to continue to make movies, or oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, I, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, filmmaking is the way I present an altar call, right? To one mm. soul, because that's my talent. That's when I get to write, to to direct it, to see it, to act in it. That's my way of winning souls. You know, and he that wins souls is wise. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, my wife and I, we also have a book out on Amazon called Almost Not Born. Almost um, so, not born. What's going on with that? Yeah, yeah. So it's a uh. 
fictional story about a girl named Destiny who was, like the title said, almost not born. The mm -hmm. reason being her mom was going to abort her but was too early. And so fast forward in her life, we see, and, she, you know, she's, she's a little girl, and we see how, why the enemy did not want her to be born. And so it really talks about warfare of the mind and how mm -hmm. Satan doesn't have power over you. He only can get you to use your will against yourself. How about that? By suggesting thoughts. So that's the only power that he has is to get you to use your power against yourself. And so it's about healing, trauma, forgiveness, love, etc. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing story right there. And, and what a reality it is to most of us. You know, uh, we struggle with the battle of the mind and that thing right there can take you over. All right. It's like all type of doctors and medication and <laughs> exercise mm -hmm. required. You know, it's, it's just too much, mm -hmm. but it will take over if you're, um, if you're not grounded. Because confusion exactly. is the devil. Right. Exactly. It's exactly. always the devil. Confusion is always the devil when God is clear and he operating he op he operates in that clarity. And so when mm -hmm. we find ourselves warring with something, we just need to excuse it and say, This is of the devil. Because nothing exactly. that God provides exactly requires you um to work that hard. Um you work hard for the Lord and it seems enjoyable and easy. You work hard mm -hmm. for yourself and it's a uphill battle you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's amazing that you're able to come out and make these type of films. Um, what's oh, your long term goal? You know, if you're getting all of this done at twenty two, what's your what's yeah. your twenty five goal and your thirty goal and what are your Man. goals? Man, definitely collab with Tyler Perry. Hey um, <laughs> No, nah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. But um just you know, just stay in my lane and just Honestly, I don't. I do not know. I do not know what the future holds. <laughs> I mm -hmm. know it holds thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring me to an expected end. Yes. Um, yes. But definitely, long-term goals is to, you know, get investors and you know people to invest in my own because you know I'm doing everything on my own dime mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But self-published. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, but making enough content to where people say, oh, okay, I want to invest in you. I want to invest in you. Here's X amount of dollars. Let's go ahead and get this done. Because it's, it's very expensive. stressful to do it independently. However, doing it for the Lord is the greater good. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. You know, so ballpark figure, what what does it run you to make a movie right now compared to the type of movie you want to make right. two, three, right. four, five years from now? Right, right, right. So it take me. This the ballpark. Thousand. Around there. A few thousand. Mm-hmm. It takes me a few thousand to make, but what I'm, of course, looking to do is a million dollar plus. Because, you know, secular films, they get the million dollar plus movie Budgets. budgets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, well, same for a faith base, you know. So definitely to just make a mu as much noise as possible in order to accomplish that. Amen. Um, so right now, your movie, The Wages of Faith, is streaming on TV. What was the, the inspiration behind it? The Wages of Sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just want to make that clear for the audience. That way they can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I saw it and I read it, but I said faith. I apologize. Let us no, know no, no what was your what was the uh, thank you the um what was your inspiration behind the wages of sin? Oh man, uh, the wages of sin inspiration was the scripture. The wages of mm -hmm. sin is death, but the key to God is eternal life. So reading that scripture, getting the wages of sin title in my head, oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, um that that right there was that was my inspiration. I got the story. Yeah. All right. He took it straight out of the word. Amen to that. <laughs> what type of advice would you give to these young men out here that made me feel like they're hopeless and um, they 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 want direction and they want purpose in their life. What type of advice would you give them? Um, you know, just having accomplished so much. In all that ways, acknowledge Him, and mm -hmm. He will direct your path. Mm -hmm. Seek first the kingdom and all His righteousness, and then all these things will be added unto you. So you're saying without God, it's not going to work. Oh yeah. 
I can't Amen. lie about that. <laughs> Cut and dry, baby. Cut and dry. Without the Lord, it's not going to work. So many things we try to do on our own with our own hand, and we force it most times. But it, it, it's, it's difficult because that's not the goal. Um, it's the goal that the Savior has for us in our lives. And when we connect that, um, we're on one accord. And so okay. it's it's amazing what you're doing out here. Now, Cleos, what is that about? The name Cleos. Should I call, yeah, should I call you Cleos or Michael Chen? You can call me Cleos, Michael, Michael Cleos, Michael Chen. It's Cleos, so it's my stage name. Okay. And it means, it means well-known. Well-known. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Amen. Researched and applied he said <laughs> um, have you been carrying the, the Cleo's name for some time now <laughs> yes I have I Amen. Have. Yep, yep. you have any family goals that may uh, slow down the productions no not at all family <laughs> won't ever slow down production <laughs> because, because my family will mm-hmm. look up to me as in me pursuing the vision that God has placed on the inside of me. And so if it slows it down, then I lose their respect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Such ambition. Okay. Well, we pray to God all things work out for you and your family. Amen, Amen. to that. Amen. So did you do the book first and then the movies or what was the order of everything? Movies first, then the book. My Matter of fact, my wife did good majority of the book. You know, mm-hmm. um, I did a little writing, but um, definitely a good majority of the book was done with her. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did movies first. We were like, okay, let's do a book, you know, and then let's make the book into a movie. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, you definitely have the uh, business formula down, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, did you, so you're saying this is all self operated, no school. You just had a wish and a dream and some equipment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's exactly what happened. And I did, like I said, I did one semester, and then I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. (laughs) (laughs) And here I am over here chasing a doctrine. Like, I love school. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, brother, that success comes to you. Roll with it. That's how that's supposed to be. Amen to that. (laughs) So, um, do you ever do premieres or any um, live screenings or anything to that effect? I haven't done any yet. So, how do you know your stuff is even good? Well, I mean, so the Wages of Sin currently has over 800,000 views so far. There we go. (laughs) And I'm beta, baby. (laughs) Oh, yeah, and I'm constantly just getting messages from friends of friends of friends who's saying, oh, my God, you know, they... They wanna they wanna turn to Jesus now and just things mm-hmm. like that. So whether it's good, whether it's bad, you know, I know the message is is getting to people. Amen. Did you grow up in a church? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who took you? Yeah. Uh, my parents, my and my, my grand my grandpa's father is the uh bishop of the church that I grew up in. Okay, okay. You was bishop in the church. church of Amen. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. The Church of Jesus Christ and your bishop is Bishop Leslie. Bishop Leslie. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. your granddad. In Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not too far. You know, we're up here in the Owings Mills area of Baltimore. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Not too far. About an hour mm-hmm. drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not too far. So you were already in the church. Yeah. Did yeah. you do any of the productions at at a younger age? No, I I did like a stage production, mm-hmm. you know, stage plays. I was acting in a bunch of plays, stage productions, things like that. Yeah. So this has been a part of you for some time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you have a desire to work in any other industry? No, no. Wow. No. He said, this is the only thing I've ever wanted to do, and praise mm-hmm. be to God, I'm doing it. Amen. Amen. Okay, because some people don't have the luxury, honey. They they don't. <laughs> they, like, I got these obligations. I got to go to this job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dreading it. 
Um, so the family doesn't complain about your long hours. I know you're not working a regular nine to five when you film me. <laughs> matter matter of fact, let me tell you, I'm actually subbed in filming today. I'm actually just finished at ten PM and I hopped mm. in a call. <laughs> you know, and uh, I mean they they support my wife is here with me and yeah. Amen. They just they support it. Amen to that. You, so, does it take a team to to get everything yeah. going? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and my team is not as big yet, and so it really takes a lot. It's like, oh man. However, <laughs> we 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 building. I'm glad to hear that, and it's good that you have support. You know, because sometimes we we we're so talented that we take on more than necessary, and we're so far spread out. But it's great that you have people that you can delegate to that support you um, and right. they believe in what you're doing. And so that, that just all funnels in with the positivity and the encouragement to keep going. Um, exactly. So, Right. And that's why I just wanted to ask these questions in a roundabout way, like, hey, why? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Yeah. What was the business mind behind that, you know? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, what type of movie are you working on right now? So the movie I'm working on right now is uh it's a oh man okay okay it's a like a faith based superhero type of situation I really don't Ooh. want to talk too much about it that's all we need yeah 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 that's that's it okay <laughs> faith based super okay so you tapping into all of us little Marvel fans out here <laughs> tapping mm -hmm. into yeah. another market and I like that you know Jesus says feed my flock and so you're um, able to do so on a massive level um, with this form of media um, so praise God for that amen amen, <laughs> amen. Um, what scripture are you holding on to your heart this week Scripture I'm holding on to my heart this week is a man's gift makes room for them and brings them before great men. Great men, he says, and those will be your reasons. Well, even though I know that can be interpreted, you know, a person's gift makes room for them and brings them before great people, you know? Mm -hmm. Amen. You're absolutely right. You know, and that's just the way of life. The the, the better exactly. positions we place our lives, the more uh, connections we're able to achieve through that network. Um, but you got to believe in yourself, and nobody will unless you do. Have you always had this strong confidence? Oh, man. Um, I would say no. Okay. I would say my, my confidence really... Um, Hey, it's funny you say I'm confident, but it really started, I guess. I mean, I, I did have some form of personal confidence, um, but the, the more I really put my faith and trust in Christ and the more I started to be about his business, um, because then I filters out what truly matters and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And so my confidence lies in what truly matters in life, period. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen to that. Um, our show is coming to an end. Please take some time to let our listeners know how they can reach you, how they can support you, any projects you have coming up that you want us to be on the lookout for. It's your turn to plug away. Okay. So first and foremost, go to Tubi. Tubi app. If you got the smart TV, go to Tubi app on your smart TV. If you got the... Um, if you got the uh, if you got the phone, go to Tubi TV. Or go to Tubi app. Download the the, the um, <laughs> Tubi app. If you got the computer, go to TubiTV.com and type in the Wages of Sin and go stream that Urban Faith Based um, Project. The 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 ending will will have you shook. People are still mm -hmm. hitting me up about that. The Wages of Sin. To find me on Instagram, Twitter, all my social media is at TikTok at I am Cleo. I A M K L E O S. I am Cleo. I A M K L E O S. And uh, my Facebook is Michael Cleo. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And thank you for providing us with that information. I'm sure listeners will want to reach out, show their gratitude and appreciation, um, and also send you some support. Um, how can people okay. donate to your cause and, you know, help out with that portion? Well, I mean, I have Cash App. 
K L E O F S. Two S's on that. <laughs> Those are the dollar signs. <laughs> K L E O F S. But no, for real though, if you want to do some huge donations, but just hit me up. Facebook, Michael Cleo Ten. Instagram at I am Cleo. Hit me up. And um yeah, we'll talk. we can we can talk. If you got investors and things like that, yeah, we can definitely Work yeah. something out, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I mean, you know, because every little bit counts, and every um, exactly. you know investor, you know, is is helping to mm-hmm. contribute to this purpose. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, Batman, do you have any last words before we pray out? Yeah, I want to ask Mike. Do people get him confused with the guy on SNL? Because his name is Michael Chin also, but I think he oh, supposed yeah. name with an E, right? I think he has an E in Chin. I forget. No, it's Michael Che. Michael Che. Like oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh-huh. Michael Che. All right. Yeah. All right, last like question. Mm-hmm. What you shooting with, Mike? What are you shooting with? Say that again. What are you shooting with? What kind of camera? Uh, I don't have a camera per se, but I have, you know, people on my team who have Black Magic 6Ks and things like that. And so, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That's right, and that's one thing um, my son is learning now because he's 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 uh, in communication and they doing filming and stuff. That um, mm-hmm. you know, equipment it adds up because <laughs> when I always tell people the cameras they have out there and they shoot shoot very well, but they don't listen well. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta have a good audio. Uh, system as well in microphones this is so much to learn and just like me just like you man i learned even though i did go to school for television production uh, many moons ago <laughs> but with all the technology to, and, the, and the way equipment is moving fast and everything youtube was my friend <laughs> and even some of the companies that sell the cameras they also have workshops and stuff on lighting and sound so i just absorbed it all man i was just i was in there hard man and you know, learn on a whim, you know. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we're doing today. Just shooting. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And we gotta have you gotta have you on Kelly's show real soon. Did he say he's in Virginia? Kelly has a show. He said DC baby. DC. Oh, okay, okay. He out there with his yeah. promoter. Okay. But yeah, we gotta we gotta have you on show, man. We've been doing a lot of remote stuff now, you know, because you know, just to keep everybody safe, because I got a small studio. Um, unless we in Atlanta, um, we, we we do like to have a live audience when we out there shooting in Atlanta. But uh, we we we'll be in touch with your promoter, man, and have you back, okay? Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No problem. No problem. We always have time for God. So let's go ahead and pray right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for our daily bread, for this new day that was never promised to us. Lord, I thank you that I'm not a zombie from having this COVID shot. And I ask that no one else turns into a zombie in the CDC. Don't scare me to death. But I just want to thank you, Lord, for the opportunities that you've blessed us with, the way you're consistent, the way you watch over us and keep us the way you send your angels down when we're acting like fools and babies and both i thank you father god for your angels that keep us and surround us throughout our troubles throughout our days and lives and i ask lord god that you continue to strengthen us bear us up in your arms protect us from the enemy and continue to love us in jesus name amen amen Amen, amen, amen. All right. Amen. Great show. (laughs) Thanks so much. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. You have just witnessed Jerry Royce live and Kelly Holland on Late Night. That's right. Late Night. (laughs) Okay. Take care, everybody. Every Thursday from 10 to 11. And never forget to tap back into your unspeakable joy. Have a good night, everybody. All right. You have a good night. Thank you. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double XM. Positive power 21. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. <laughs> Don't go